Hello, Robert. Welcome back. How are you feeling today? Great. We went to Walmart last week, got lost, but found each other a couple hours later in the candy aisle. I mean, we should have known, right? <laughs> That's great. Um, do you ever notice any reoccurring themes in your stories? No. Why? Well, it seems to me like you guys keep losing each other, and then you keep finding each other over and over again. Yes, that's it. Robert, I want to be very open with you today because it seems as if you've taken a few steps backwards since our last meeting here. Okay, a few steps back my ass. Robert, stop talking to Alfie. He's not there. Uh, yes he is, he's right here. Robert, listen, this is your way of coping with a traumatic event. <laughs> what traumatic event? About a week before your trip to Colorado, you and Alfie got in a horrible car accident, and he died. <laughs> you were driving, and you're taking complete responsibility for the accident and Alfie's death. Somebody ran into the passenger side of your car. They were under the influence of alcohol. Alfie was the main point of impact. He couldn't survive it. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault, Robert. You need to let Alfie go. It's time. He's my brother. I can't let him go. Robert, we go through this every week. It's time to quit being in denial. I'm not in denial. He's alive, see? No, Robert, he's dead. Nobody can see him but you. You're lying. I taught him how to play sports, how to make a cake, how to ski. I know, I know, but he wasn't really there. Stop, stop talking. Why are you doing this? Robert, it's the truth. No, no, it's not, Alfie. Everything's legal in Colorado. 